At the tone, please record your message. Hi, my name is Shelby Coe, I'm 17, and this is my creative sample for the Clive Davis Institute of Recorded Music. I'm applying as a songwriter and a performer, and I intend on learning everything there is to know about the music industry in order to become a well-rounded recording artist. I started songwriting when I was 12. I grew up playing the piano and the guitar and started out writing fictional songs, but songwriting eventually grew into a way for me to express my emotions or recount my experiences. I feel such a high when I finish a song, and I want to be able to share that feeling. So two years ago, I started releasing some of my music on SoundCloud and TikTok. Royal Flush was the first song that I produced and released on SoundCloud. I love storytelling and being able to capture feeling or a moment in a way that goes beyond words. But most of all, I believe that music is a language that everyone can understand, and it's one that I use to communicate most often. Pinky Promise was one of the first songs I wrote that really felt like a real song and something that other people would be able to relate to. performing began at a fairly young age. I've been in choir for 10 years and invested most of my spare time in musical theater. Singing has always been a huge part of my identity and I genuinely cannot imagine myself doing anything else with my life. As I've gotten older, I've been entering school talent shows and going to open mic nights at Red Rock Cafe every Monday, really just taking any opportunity to perform. I'll rip the leaf out the table. And I'll read all the labels in the cupboard. I'm superficial and I take after my mother. I still feel it when he looks at me with those green eyes full of mystery. I would come running, I would free fall at his. This summer, I had the incredible opportunity to be a part of NYU Steinhardt's summer songwriting workshop, which was a mind-opening experience. Being part of that exchange of energy between artists was an indescribable feeling. For the first time, I was a part of so many incredible collaborations that expanded the potential of music for me. At the program, I formed a band called Blister with two other amazing singer-songwriters, and we started co-writing an EP together. We co-wrote the song Cross Country and produced it in our dorm room, and it really opened the floodgates for my love of collaborating. Ever since we got home, we've been meeting online to work on releasing music, and it's definitely been difficult being on opposite sides of the country, but I've learned a lot about how to manage time, set a budget, and the logistics of how to get our music out into the world. As an aspiring musician, I understand the importance of knowing your value and being able to advocate for yourself as an entrepreneur and a brand. This summer, I've also been working with these two producers from my hometown. A year ago today is coming out on October 20th, and since this is my first release, it's been really enlightening learning about dividing royalties and registering for copyrights. I think it's been really helpful for me to have first-hand experience with the business side of music. I've been promoting on every social media platform possible, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, just figuring out how to get people's attention and find an audience for the song. My favorite thing about production is being able to set the tone of a song and really engrossing my listener. Everyone's listening experience is different, so I think it's really cool to curate that sound. Barely Existing is the first song that I produced on Logic, and it was really challenging at first to figure out how to use the program, but I eventually fell into the rhythm of it, and I was able to experiment with percussion and rhythms, which is something that I think brings the song to the next level. The dream for me has always been to become a recording artist. I think that the most special thing about being an artist is being able to connect to people and make it Thank you.
Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your consideration and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!